Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Wendy. I am a library assistant at the Santa Ana Public Library. And in celebration of the annual Plaza Navideña event and tree lighting ceremony, we have put together a very special craft for the whole family to enjoy. We will be creating a donkey piñata. Materials provided in the Plaza Navideña piñata craft kit are as follows. Note, parents and guardians, this craft will require the use of scissors and glue. Younger children may need your help or supervision during the making of this piñata craft. If you are unable to pick up or obtain your Plaza Navideña piñata craft kit, all items can be found at your favorite craft or big box store. For this tutorial, my colleague Doria will demonstrate how to make a donkey piñata. So let's get crafty. So I've already gone ahead and cut out my donkey template and ears. And so now I'm going to show you how to position the template onto the poster board so you can get the maximum amount of paper strips for your piñata. So I'm going to go ahead and flip my donkey so that his back legs, the straight line, is straight with the edge of the poster board. So once I have that, I'll go ahead and start tracing. Now it doesn't have to be perfect. We are going to cut this out after all. If you get a little on the template, that's fine. We're only using it this time. Okay. So there's the first one. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it so he's upside down and then line him up as best as I can. So it doesn't matter if it doesn't line up, you just go ahead and trace over. Doesn't have to be perfect. So there is a leg missing. Just kidding. There it is. Okay. So now I have the two ears. These can go pretty much in any small space. So I'm going to go ahead and put them over here on this side. So I like to position them so that they look like an offset rectangle just so that I can um, trace them and not have um, them be too close. All right, so now I have my two sides of my piñata and the two ears. I'm gonna set that off to the side. And so now we need strips in order to form the box shape of the piñata. And so you can make the strips as thick as you like. I found that five and a half centimeters is actually a really good um, width. It's not too wide and it's not too narrow. So you have a nice size piñata. So I have my ruler with my centimeter side. And I have this space here on the long side that I'm just gonna go ahead and make use of. So I'm gonna mark out five centimeters, or five and a half centimeters, sorry. Five and a half centimeters should be perfect. It should actually end right here on his nose somewhere. And I'm gonna flip my paper to make drawing the line easier. So I'm just gonna line up my tick marks. Again, doesn't have to be perfect. So 
I only got one long strip out of here, so I'm going to go ahead and use this empty space to make more strips. sure when you're working on this that you have a nice big empty space to work on just because crafting gets messy sometimes and your supplies end up everywhere. So you're looking to get about two to three four long strips just in case for when you go all the way around your donkey or your piñata. So I'm just gonna get three. This is how your board should look. I have my two sides, my ears, and the strips so that can go around the body of my piñata. I'm going to go ahead and get started on cutting. All right, so now you have your pieces cut out. I'm going to show you how to position everything to get started taping. So you're going to want um, the donkeys to look like mirror images of themselves and then the long strip it's always best to start um, with the long strip in the beginning. So I like to start by making about there, about three quarters of the way, or a quarter of the way down from where the neck starts, just because this is gonna be where my opening is if I wanna put candy in my piñata. So then I'm gonna get that lined up there. I use the other strips to make sure that their back legs are kind of lined up, so it's as even as I can. So it's gonna look like that. And now that I have the positioning, I'm gonna start taping. Let's start there. So I'm using packing tape. You can also use scotch tape. Um, they both work equally as well. Now you have your tape cut. You're gonna go ahead and start taping. So what I like to do is um, start and tape them both together. It doesn't have to line up perfectly. And then at this point too is when you would want to do your um, hole for your hanger. Um, we're using a balloon sealer to make our hanger. So you can actually do it. I know I've already taped it, but you could do it beforehand and just make a little bend about there in the middle strip and just a quick snip. So then it looks like it's just a little nick in the paper. Okay. And so then with the tape out, it's always easier with the tape out, you can start taping around your, your templates and continuing the form. So we're gonna be using the balloon sealer as a hanger for our piñata. The balloon sealers are very convenient just because they already have the string attached to them. So I'm gonna go ahead and unwrap my balloon sealer. And it has a little knot already, and it has these spaces. So what I'm gonna do is I don't really need all of this string. I'm gonna go ahead and just start wrapping the string in those holes. And you just go around in a circle, putting them in through the notches until you feel like, yes, this is not gonna fall apart when I hang my piñata. So once you're like, okay, we are secure, there's a very, very thin and hard to see um, 
opening where the ribbon was tied, just take your other end and thread it through like if you're threading a needle. Once it's through, pull it to the length that you want. So for me, my piñata, this is a pretty good length, probably about three inches. What I'm gonna do at this point is I'm going to make a knot around the metal, uh, not the metal, the plastic centerpiece of the balloon sealer, just so that it kind of hangs more central. Once that's done, this string will poke through that notch and I'll show you later how to do that. And then I wrap a little bit more of this around and with this loose end, I make a double knot. Once I have that, just cut off all this excess string. We don't need it. And now you have your hanger which will insert through the slit that we cut in our template. You can do it at this point if you want, or you can do it at a later point. I'll show you both. So at this point, you kind of try to get the ribbon through the hole. Once the ribbon is through, you just poke through the center portion of the hanger. And so there you go. So now we're gonna go ahead and stand up our donkey. And we have corners that we need to get around. So a quick way to do that is just lay them back down. I like to follow the corner and make like a little, okay, that's where I need to go. So I'm going to bend my strip approximately where it needs to be. Flip him back over to his side. I'm just gonna make this strip a little smaller. And then I put tape on this side. Line it up to the strip. And there we go. Again, another corner. Just gonna approximate where I need to fold. Didn't fold it all the way, but that's fine. And then put the tape here. And fix my fold a little. And there we go. So it's not gonna be perfect. You're gonna get gaps. That's okay. We're gonna cover this all in paper anyways. And so that's kind of how you can go around the corners on the donkey, it's fairly simple. So now I have all the tape all the way around my donkey um, and I have already attached ears. I did show two different ear positions so you can attach the ears straight up or on this other side, um, it's a little more towards the front of the face so it kind of looks like he's got his ears a little offset. Another thing is I did run out of paper strip but I did have that extra so I attached it so that I could have a nice flap to cover and close up to add my candy. And that's how you do the basic frame of the donkey piñata. All right, so since we have our donkey already done, we're gonna go ahead and get started on making the fringe to cover him in, okay? So on a regular sheet of copy paper that you would have gotten in the kit or that you can purchase at your local craft store or big box store, basically I'm just gonna eyeball it. I'm going to just cut this one in half and then cut this one in half again. And then I'm just making a really simple fringe. I'm just gonna go down the line and cut it. It does not have to be pretty or neat. Um, you can make it as fine as you want, as thick as you want, your choice. I already have some that I went through and did. 
I have some in red and green. And so what I'm gonna show you really quickly is I don't like that the bottom is visible with tape and whatnot. So this half that I saved, I'm just gonna quickly eyeball it to cover the feet, okay? Just gonna put some glue, which you would have gotten in your kit. Again, doesn't have to be neat. Put the paper there. And then I'm gonna just trim off whatever's excess. And then that should dry nicely. I'm gonna do the other foot. So now my feet are covered. I can start placing the fringe. So what I like to do is I place the fringe so that it's level with the feet. Okay. I only need one strip. And you can put the glue directly on the poster board or you can put the glue on the strip, however you choose. I'm a messy crafter so I like to put glue everywhere and then I just place it down pat it into place you'll get some glue sleeping seeping out that's fine art is messy as it should be and I'm gonna go around and do the same thing on the other side so just glue glue and then just go around if you see a little poster board that's okay you might be destroying the pinata later at some family festivity. Or, you know, your kids might fight over, I don't know. Okay. There's a little exposed here. And there. So now my feet are covered. The glue is going to be very wet, very messy. Um, and that's fine. So go ahead and do another strip to cover. And you can choose how wide you want the strip to be showing. So if you wanna cover this top bit, that's fine. If you want it a little exposed, it's all dependent on what you want to do and how you want your piñata to come out. So on this one, I'm just gonna do this the other way. Put the glue on the strip. and then position it where I want. Go there. Slide it up because it's wet. Turn it around. And again. There you go. So now the feet, this foot is covered. Um, I'm gonna just show you, with the way that we cut the paper, with the long way of the paper, it's actually really nice um, the way it works out how the strip will cover actually the length of the donkey and I believe so let me go with um, a green strip to show you just that so I'm gonna just put a line of glue down and the strip actually covers very nicely the body and so what you're gonna do is you're gonna continue making your pattern or if you want it just all a solid color uh, solid color you can just do that um, and have it go all the way up the parts where it gets interesting is when you're going up the back of the donkey and so what I like to do is I make shorter strips once I get to about this point I'll make a shorter strip in about the size of the back end. And so I'll fold it. And then I just fold the long strip until I get more pieces. So once I have all my little folds, I'll just trim them. And then you put 
put your glue. And I'm just gonna go a little overboard with the glue just for time's sake. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna slide it so it's a little even. And then you just, again, position to where you want them to be. And then you'll just continue going all the way up the back. The ears, you can cut out construction paper to the size or you can um, wrap it around with paper. So now you see I've got my donkey completely covered. Um, I did give him a tail. A tail is really easy to make. You can just use one of your scrappy bits of paper and twirl it. So I, some people use a toothpick. I can just do it with my finger. Kind of like when you roll a tortilla, roll the paper. doesn't, again, have to be neat or pretty. Or and then you just put some glue. And then with your leftover fringe, you can cover that. And just make the little hairs for the tail. And just tuck it in under one of the fringes, and that's how you make a tail. For the reins and the eyes, um, those you can freehand and just cut the paper in a circle, oval, whatever eye shape you decide to use and color. And the reins, I just cut out little strips and place them around um, to where I knew like a horse or donkey reins would fit. And so it does kind of go all the way around under the chin. This is just, again, some scrap of white paper that I had that I cut into round pieces to make the little like rivets that are on a ring. And that's pretty much how I did the donkey um, piñata. And now you have your very own piñata for your family to enjoy. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. Until next time.